factory unlike any other. This was the Cloud Creation Factory, where fluffy white clouds were born and sent to dance across the heavens. The factory was run by a team of cheerful and friendly cloud creatures known as the Cloudy S. The Cloudy S were small, round, and as soft as the clouds they made. They had big, twinkling eyes, and their laughter sounded like the gentle tinkling of wind chimes. Each cloudy had a special talent that helped create different kinds of clouds and weather. At the heart of the factory was Nimbus, the wisest and oldest cloudy. Nimbus had a long, curly beard that looked like a small cumulus cloud. He wore a pair of round spectacles and was always seen carrying a weather wand, which he used to orchestrate the weather. One sunny morning, Nimbus gathered all the young cloudy s around the great cloud machine an enormous contraption with gears and pipes that whirred and puffed. Today, my little cloudy s, we will learn how clouds are made and discover the different types of weather. Nimbus announced with a warm smile. First, Nimbus introduced Puffy, the cloudy in charge of making cumulus clouds. Puffy was round and jolly, always bouncing around with energy. Cumulus clouds are the big, fluffy ones that look like cotton candy. Puffy explained, turning a knob on the great cloud machine. Out popped a perfect, puffy cumulus cloud, which floated gently upwards. Next was Strato, a long and slender cloudy with a calm demeanor. Strato specialized in creating stratus clouds. Stratus clouds are like a big, soft blanket covering the sky. Strato said in a soothing voice. He pulled a lever, and a layer of smooth, gray stratus cloud flowed out, spreading across the sky like a cozy cover. Then came C-I-R-R-A, a delicate and graceful cloudy with wings like gossamer. C-I-R-R-A was in charge of cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds are the wispy, feathery ones high up in the sky. C-I-R-R-A explained, twirling her wand. A swirl of ice crystals formed into a beautiful cirrus cloud, floating high and thin. Lastly, Nimbus introduced Stormy, a boisterous cloudy with a mischievous grin. Stormy loved creating cumul o Nimbus clouds. These are the towering clouds that bring thunderstorms. Stormy said, flicking a switch. The great cloud machine rumbled, and a dark, towering cumul o Nimbus cloud rose crackling with tiny lightning bolts. As the young Cloudy S watched in awe, Nimbus said, each type of cloud brings different weather. Cumulus clouds often mean fair weather, but they can grow into thunderstorms. Stratus clouds can bring light rain or drizzle. Cirrus clouds usually indicate fair weather, but if you see many of them, a change in the weather might be coming and cumul o nimbus clouds bring storms with lightning, thunder, and heavy rain. The cloudy s clapped and cheered, eager to try making their own clouds. Nimbus smiled proudly. Now, my little cloudy s, it's your turn. Use the great cloud machine and create clouds to fill the sky. The factory buzzed with excitement as the cloudy s set to work, making clouds of all shapes and sizes. Puffy made cumulus clouds that looked like fluffy sheep. Strato created a stratus blanket that stretched from horizon to horizon. C-I-R-R-A fashioned delicate cirrus clouds that painted the sky with wisps of white. And Stormy crafted a mighty cumul o nimbus cloud that rumbled with tiny thunderclaps. As the sun set, the sky was a masterpiece of clouds, each one telling a story of the weather to come. The cloudy s gathered around Nimbus, who said, You have all done wonderfully. Remember, each cloud you create helps tell the story of the weather. And you, my little cloudy s, are the storytellers of the sky. With that, the cloudy s floated up to join their creations, filling the sky with laughter and joy. And so, in the whimsical factory high above the mountains, the friendly cloud creatures continued to make clouds and weave the ever-changing tapestry of weather. One fluffy creation at a time,